So this whole exercise is related to planning experiments uh, for IGCSC and O levels physics. Uh, we did question one, so we'll do question two today. Question two, a student is investigating how the resistance of a wire depends on the length, like how the resistance changes with the length. That is what student is investigating. The student aim to plot a graph, like student want to plot a graph from his results. The following apparatus is available to the student, an ammeter, a voltmeter, power supply, variable resistor, switch, connecting leads, resistance wires of different length, and the meter rule or the meter scale. Whenever you are planning experiment, as I mentioned for physics, you will try to answer each point separately. Don't try to write the whole paragraph. The reason why you should not write the whole paragraph, because maybe when you're writing your answer, you may miss any point like whole, writing whole paragraph. So it's better you take this question as I try to answer each point separately. So the diagram, a draw a diagram of a circuit you could use to determine the resistance of each wire. Practically, if you want to determine the resistance, we need the voltage and we need the current. So ratio between the voltage and the current will give us a resistance. So we have to measure the voltage and we have to measure the current. How voltage can be measured? By, so we say we have a resistance wire. Say so this is a resistance wire. We have to measure the voltage. So how we can measure a voltage? We connect a voltmeter. The voltmeter is always connected in parallel. And we want to measure the current. The ammeter should always connect in series. Then we have a power supply is there. This is a symbol for the power supply. And the switch will be there. So we connect the circuit as soon. Like a power supply, a switch is there, voltmeter, ammeter. And... Uh, Using this circuit, we can determine the voltage and the current. And from voltage and current, we'll determine the resistance. So we have a variable resistor. What is the purpose of the variable resistor? You can also, because what will happen if I use this circuit, which I drew now, this will give me one value of a voltage and one value of a current. I cannot repeat for the same length. So if I want to repeat my experiment, I need a different sets of results. I need a different ratio between voltage and current. So for that purpose, we use a variable resistor. So without a variable resistor, what will happen? The circuit will work. But for example, when I get the voltage and I get the current, and I will find the resistance by the ratio. Example, the voltage is 10 and the current is 2. So it will be 10 divided by 2. I'll get resistance as 5. But then I won't be able to repeat this procedure. Like, because I have, as in this case, I have only one set of, because there's no way to change the voltage or the current in the circuit. So what we can do, if we use a variable resistor here, then the voltage across the, the wire will change, the current will also change. But the ratio between like example, if we, reduce, if we change the voltage to five and the current is one, so five divided by one, if we will get five, the resistance won't change, but the ratio between voltage and current will change. So using a variable resistor, what's the advantage of using a variable resistor in electrical as an electrical component in the circuit? So we can repeat the procedure, we can repeat our experiment for different sets of result. That's the main, that's why we should connect up variable resistor as well. So th that's the, how we do a circuit. Explain briefly, how would you carry out the investigation? 
So this is a very common point, the procedure, how this experiment should be done. So we have to play an experiment to investigate how resistance of a wire depends on the length. So if we change the length, how the resistance of a wire will change. That, that's the experiment. So what we can do, first thing, the procedure, So we will connect M meter or we will, we can also say measure the length of a wire because we are changing the length and finding how it affects the resistance. So we'll measure the length of wire or take wire of length 10 centimeter. So measure the length of a bar by a meter rule. For example, we took 10 centimeter length. So measure 10 centimeter length by a meter. Then what we do, we connect voltmeter and M meter as shown in the circuit. Then we will record the voltage and current and we'll find the resistance by a formula that resistance is actually a ratio between voltage and current. So resistance will be equals to V over I. Voltage divided by current, what we'll get, we'll get the resistance. Then what we have to do, repeat the experiment for the same length and repeat the experiment for different length. Like you should repeat the experiment, that is one thing. And then repeat the experiment with different lengths such as like first we took 10 then we'll take 20 then we can take 30 one, maximum one meter is enough to measure the length like more than one meter it practically uh, then because a meter rule maximum can measure 100 centimeter so we repeat with like five different lengths so repeat the experiment with different lengths such as 20 30, 40, 50. So that, that's a procedure of the experiment, like how the experiment is done. Is it uh, clear till this point? Like how we carry out the experiment? The next is, Suggest uh, briefly, how would you carry? Then suggest a suitable length because I already will the the variable resistor, as I mentioned, using a variable resistor, you will change the voltage and the current so you can record the resistance for it for the same length but different sets of result. So, what is the use of a variable resistor? You keep the length same. Like example, you take ten centimeter and you connect a voltmeter, you connect an ammeter, and then the, you, you have a power supply, and there's a variable resistor. So what, what is the advantage? For the same length of 10 centimeter, we get different voltages. So we can repeat the procedure. Like say this was 10, 
and 2, then it is 5 and 1. Say this is 2.5 and 0 0.5. So you will get the different sets of results for voltage and current for the same length. That's the advantage of using a variable resistor. Then suggest the suitable lengths of the wire. What suitable length? Like example, as I mentioned, we are measuring from 10 centimeter to 50 centimeter. At least five values you can mention. State the key variables that you would control. What are the factors? Because we are finding, investigating how the length affects the resistance. So what other factors would, must be kept constant? We are finding how the length of a wire affects its resistance. What are the other factors? Length cannot be constant because we are finding the effect of the length on the resistance. So length has to be changed. We have to Thomas. change. Yeah. What are the key variables we should uh, keep constant? Uh, thickness of the thickness. So the variable, the key variable, we will control thickness, or you can also say area, the cross-sectional area. What else? Temperature. Uh, yes, type temperature. of the wire. Good. Type of the wire. The material from which the wire is made up of temperature also, that is right. Because if the temperature change, the resistance will also change. Anything else you want to add? So the type of the material, the temperature of the wire, the cross-sectional area of the wire, the power supply. Yeah, the type, the power supply we are using, that should also be same. Because they mentioned variable, so you have, it's a plural, so you should write two or more than two. Don't write a single variable because it's variables. Then draw a table or tables with a column heading to show how you would display your results. So what table? Because in this case, we are investigating how the lens affect the resistance. And so what we will do, it can be tables or it can be table or tables. So the first column will have the length. The second column will have the voltage. The third column will have the current and the fourth column will have the resistance. Table with the column heading means like you should also mention the units. We are measuring a length and the unit of the length we are measuring centimeter. And because we fix this, so you can fill up this, like you are taking 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. So you can mention that. Then, uh, the voltage, the unit is volts. You are not supposed to write anything as you're not doing the experiment. You're just planning the experiment. So for different lengths, we'll measure the voltage and we should repeat the, uh, as I did not in the, in my columns, I did not mention like repetition for the same lens, but it should be, you can also add repetition for the same lens, like different voltages and different currents will be there for the same length. You can also get, and then take an average. So this further division can be there. If you don't divide further, if you write like this, that's also fine. And uh, what we should plot, a, because the student aim is to plot a graph. So that was given in the beginning. So what graph students should plot? Because student is investigating how the resistance of a wire depends on the length. So student should plot a graph between the resistance and the length. You can mention plot a graph between resistance and then unit of a resistance ohm and the length, the unit is centimeter. So plot a graph between resistance and length. That, that will be the last point. So this is how we investigated how the resistance of a wire is affected by the length. And the aim of this to plot a graph, so he will plot a graph between a resistance and length. Is it uh, clear, this experiment, anyone having a doubt or a question in this? Yes, sir, clear. 